Hi, and welcome to CleoSoft Video Tutorial View Exams. In this video, we're going to talk about how to view exams of uh, images that we have taken for our patients and how to use some of the tools that we have in the view exam. So let's go and get started. Uh, first things first, we need to choose a patient. We're going to go ahead and choose a test patient that we've created. And then we're going to click on the view exam. Now, once we choose the view exam, you'll see that there are multiple exams. The exams are saved by date uh, and what kind of image was taken. For example, this one was using the intraoral camera. The layout was unlimited. This one was using the sensor images. Uh, layout is FMX. And uh, it'll keep going on for however many exams that you have. So let's go ahead and take uh, the intraoral images first. So uh, these are just two of the images I took using our intraoral camera. Um, once you are in the exam mode, you can actually go ahead and double-click the picture to have an enlargement of that picture. Uh, then, using the tools on the left side, we can do several things. Uh, first, we can uh, magnify the image. We can minimize the image. We can use the pen option to draw. Um, for this, the tooth is a, a pretty white and the filling is silver, so white is a little hard to see. So if we click this button right here, we're going to change the pen option to black. And then we can draw arrows. Um, some of the other cool features that we have is the erase option. If you're not too good at drawing circles, we can use the circle layout and it will automatically draw an oval or a circle to your liking. We have an arrow feature that will point to where you want. Uh, we have a smart measurement tool. Um, this is primarily used for digital x-rays where you would have to put in the first point and then calibrate it. And then after it's calibrated for the first time, it will continue. So if, for example, if I calibrate to 1, or rather 10, it's going to do the first measurement as 10, and then in millimeters, of course. And then for every point afterwards, it's going to automatically calculate it for you. I'm going to clear the points and take it off that. Uh, we can clear everything we've done by using this clear all. And we can even write text on it. So I can make the text size larger or smaller. I can change the color of the text that I want to write. And I can change the text so I could put uh, filling. We can flip the images around. And we can use the magnifying point to see where we would like. So these are just some of the options that we have to, uh, you know, write and draw within the picture itself. On the left side of the menu, we have exporting, emailing, printing, uh, cart features. Um, these are all, you know, simple tools that we want to implement and make it very easy. So if I want to export this image, I can simply just hit export choose the image that I want to export, and then it'll tell me where I would like to export the image to. And we'll go more in detail on that on a different video. We have email where automatically attached to your email that's already assigned to the computer. So if I hit email, it's going to automatically attach it to my email. I can print it. Uh, using a printer that's collected, or I can actually save this onto a cart. Um, the cart feature is actually something pretty cool, and I'll go over that in a future video as well. So let's go ahead and get out of here. And for any point, if you want to go back to your home page, you can just hit the home button right here, and it will automatically go back to your home. So let's go ahead and look, take a look at our uh, sensor. And if we go ahead and go into our sensor, again, we can use the same tools. Uh, sensor actually has a little more options down here. For example, uh, changing the contrast. We can drag our mouse left and right to change the contrast. 
we can go up and down to change the brightness. We can auto. <clears throat> we can flip the negative. We can colorize it. And we can use the magnifying glass. And we have the detail enhancer, where it enhances the detail within the picture itself. Again, we have the email export and all the other features that we have. So this has been a simple video for the view exam. We'll go into more detail on some of the other features, such as emailing and exporting in a future video. Uh, so thank you for watching.